Hey guys, this is Frankie with Simply Imaginary People and welcome to the next part of the tutorial. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually put all the pieces we have together. So we're going to load the TSR workshop. Now make sure you have an old version of this workshop. So 1.83 or lower. I use 1.76 or something. 2.86. Um, because otherwise your clothes are just going to get balked if you use the newest version. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go create new project, new import, next, browse, and I'm just going to browse for any child top. Doesn't matter which one, just a child top. Now, usually it's really good to pick one that doesn't have too many recolors because you're probably going to have to delete them if you don't want them. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to project and I'm going to change the name of it. So this one's not going to be called simply bean. I am just going to call this one puff because I named it that anyway. Copy to all, save. Now you're going to make sure these categories are correct. Male, female, yes. Child, yes. Type, body, yes. Clothing type, upper body, also correct. Categories, Every day, yes. Sleepwear, the puffy coat doesn't really fit. Athletic wear, that works. Career is stuff like school or going to work, so that's good. Outwear. I don't take any other ones. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here bottoms. I don't have bottoms. I'm going to import those later to test it, but right now it doesn't, not necessary. So we're going to go to mesh now. I'm going to go to high level of detail. I'm going to import the puff b one dot that we made in Mesh Toolkit. And if the first one comes up, you're gonna say no, and the second one, you're gonna say yes. Now we can see we have our mesh. But obviously, the pictures don't overlap, but that's not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Texture. And under Overlay, you're going to import your Overlay and press done. Under mask, you're going to import your mask. If it says, do you want to replace, press yes, otherwise it will save the old pictures from the old mesh, which you don't want. And under multiplier, you're going to import your multiplier. Yes. And I can see it's actually looking like a coat now. And under specular, you'll import your specular. Yes. There we go. That is pretty much everything. And I'm going to go to four channels because we were cool and did four channels. Right, so this is what it looks like. If I zoom in a bit, you can't really see it, but the button texture is on here. And you can kind of see the zipper in between. Oh, I've got my little thing here. And the dark shadows kind of make these sewing lines. So what we're going to do now, also you can see my little textures at the bottom here. What we're do now is we're going to go to File, Export, Sim 3 Pack. TSR Workshop is a 32-bit program, so it likes to crash because of memory quite often, and the way to make sure that you never lose stuff is by having backups. So either save it as a Sims 3 Pack, or you can just say file, save as, and save it as a workshop file. Doesn't matter which one you want, but just keep saving it. And just save it as puff1. And I would save it in two rounds, have puff1 and puff2, because if puff1 gets broken, which TSR likes to do sometimes, then you have puff2 as a backup. So I'm going to save that. I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mesh, and I'm going to click here next to material, these three dots. And you can see that it has an alpha, diffuse, normal, and specular. So for my alpha map, you see I've still got the old map. And what I want to do is I want to not press import. I don't want to import my picture of my multiplier again, because otherwise my file will have two pictures in it of the same thing, and that's just going to make my file size massive. So I want to press browse. Sometimes takes a while. But what browse does is it looks at all the pictures that are already imported into the workspace and you can pick one of those so I don't have to 
do it twice. So I'm just going to go through. See, this is what I'm saying. It continuously throws memory. So what I'm going to do, because it's going to throw its memory again, I'm just going to have to restart it. This is the really annoying thing about this workshop. Also the issue with Sims is that it's 32-bit and it can't take more than 4 gigabytes of RAM which means it can't take more than 4 gigabytes of memory and then it just likes to crash. Right, now I can say open project, puff, and thankfully, see, it's decided to completely crash so I've got to start again. This is generally why I don't like this program. Right, quickly go through everything again. Puff. Just to show you on this mesh, you can see that it looks kind of weird. When I zoom in, it looks normal. That's just because this is all solidified, so that's perfectly fine. Categories, not sleepwear, athletic, career, outwear. Male, female, yes, child. Import mesh. No, yes. Texture. Oh, not export. Import. Mask. Four channels. Multiplier and last but not least, the specular. Right, now what I'm going to do is going to say export to Sims 3 pack and I'm just going to call this puff1. For some reason, this crashes less. And now I'm going to go back to the mesh and I'm going to click these three dots. And this one already has it, but if it was the false one, then just go to Browse. And you'll see it has all the images in here that we've imported. So I need this one. I'm just going to press OK. And done. And normal map, I still need to import because we made a normal map. So I'll import that. And specular, again, Browse, because we've already imported that. Okay, it's complaining about memory again, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to File, Export, Sims 3 Pack, oh, hope that it does it, and it's decided it's not going to. So again, Always takes so long. Okay, create new project, new import, browse, and I'm going to load the Sims 3 pack I exported. Mine's crashing more often at the moment just because I'm running this video software. Right, you can go back to mesh. Mine were all correct, so I'm just going to import this one because I don't have it yet. And again, if these ones, use browse, not import. Right, so here you can see I've got it, got the colors the way I want it, and it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to texture, I'm going to go down here, and I can pick what colors I want it. So 
don't know. Just gonna pick random stuff, have a nice orange raincoat here. You can also use this to load patterns. I usually just leave it with solid colors. Um, there we go. I don't know, maybe have a nice blue hood. Red piping. <coughs> just to show you that you can just change the colors. Once you're happy with the colors, which you'll probably change later, but yeah. And then you've pretty much imported everything into TSRW that you need for the moment. What you can also do is here under stencils, you can import stencils under part highlighting. If you use this one, cast thumbnail, you can import a thumbnail, which has to be 256 by 256 in size, pixels, or logos, but I usually don't do any of that. And what I'm going to check is under mesh, we're going to check, first of all, bones. Yep, that's okay, it shouldn't go over 60, so 51 is fine. The vert number should not go over 9,000, so we're fine. However, you can see I have way too many faces, so it shouldn't be over 30,000. So I have 456 faces too many. So I'm just going to change that and delete some more back faces in Blender, which I can easily do. And I'll do that later. But yeah, just make sure this doesn't go over 30,000. So mine just went a bit too high, I guess, when I added the body. So I'll probably end up deleting some of the back faces of the pockets and some of the back faces of like the middle part, just to make sure. Right, so this is actually a pretty short part. If you want to make more colors, you can go under here. So I'm just going to delete this one to make a new one. So if you want to make a new one, go here and go to duplicate. And if it says, do you want to keep them on this duplicate? Press yes. Now, if you have a second mask, so a different recolorable parts, and you want to import the second one, when you import it, this is the same one, but just pretend it's different. And it comes up with this, you need to press no, because otherwise you'll just replace the old one. You want to make a new one, so you've got to press no when you do this. Also, if you have a different overlay, also press no. Um, all the specular and multiplier, everything else should be the same, so you should be fine with that. And again, to delete error color, just press delete. And again, it's crashing. But yes, so this is what you need to do. Best thing is to always export it. And I would now export it as Puff 2. It's probably not going to work, but just because sometimes when it exports, it breaks. For some reason, exporting it actually works. So I managed to save this, even though it's crashed. Right, so that concludes this tiny short part because there's not much else you need to do. TSRW, and I will see you for the next part, which is the horrible part, fixing bones.